don't know. <laughs> Hello YouTube, it is Yagul. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope that you've been having a good co a <laughs> I hope that you have been having a good quarantine. Before we get into the video, there are just a couple of things that I want to talk about and just kind of get out into the open of those things being Black Lives Matter. Period. Full stop. There are links in the description down below where you can find petitions that you can sign, numbers that you can call, just little ways that we can try to educate ourselves and be more helpful because literally everyone has the ability to make a difference. So again, check the links in the description down below and just keep fighting. I think if we just all try to educate ourselves and be more empathetic every day, then things might get better. And I guess that is sort of a terrible segue into the second thing that I want to talk about, which is, whoa, whoa, chill out. Um, which is why, why it took me so long to put this video out. Um, I made my very first YouTube video in February and it is not February anymore. Oh no. It is September. So, uh, there are several reasons for this. Um, one of them being I felt sort of weird trying to put out content and trying to make, you know, YouTube videos about things like this because I just thought that just seems so unimportant and so deeply unnecessary. And I didn't want to put anything out into the world that seemed tone deaf or seemed uncaring or like I'm just pretending none of this is happening. Um, so I did feel very strange, um, and I still feel very strange about posting it, but um, I feel, as I'm sure many other people probably feel as well, that I've lost a lot of myself during this quarantine. Um, a lot of things that used to make me really happy have just not been making me happy really recently. So this is kind of my attempt at trying to get those things back. I feel like I've slowly been trying to collect myself and trying to get myself back to doing the things that I love. Yeah. Again, now that I've spent like <laughs> a million years talking, you can uh, check the links in the description down below. Um, another reason why it kind of took me a while to do this is my first video, the format is very different um, because I kind of like to go out in the world and pull inspiration from things around me and obviously that is not an option right now so um we are in my bedroom sorry i'm apologizing in advance for the fact that some of the angles aren't great and i'm still working out how to like show off the full outfit and everything luckily um i don't have that many cute shoes so shoes aren't really that much of a factor in this video <laughs> i also started filming this video like <laughs> weeks ago. I already filmed an intro and an outro, um, but my camera decided that none of those things needed audio, so this is me redoing that. <laughs> and I'm already working on a few more videos, thankfully, so hopefully there won't be this giant like seven month gap. Move on, um, but just know that all of the like angle issues and stuff, I'm definitely trying to work on that and I'm sorry for anything that is annoying. I also forgot some of like the hair accessories for some of these outfits. I'm not really sure why I did that, um, but that is very annoying and another thing that has made me think about throwing the video out, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, we're going to post it and we're going to move on with our lives. Um, and I think that's it. I think I've rambled for so long that we can finally get into the video. Um, shout out to my future self that's going to have to edit probably all of that out. You're welcome. One more thing I want to talk about before we get into the video, I'm so sorry, is um, that you might notice I don't say where a couple of the pieces came from, and that is either because I do not remember where it came from, or because I bought it months ago from a brand that I no longer support, and that shall from here on out remain nameless on this channel. So, that's all. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> 
So I guess let's go ahead and get into the video. These are seven outfits inspired by Misa Amani. When I think of Misa Amane's style, I tend to think of very Victorian goth vibes, lots of romantic and girly silhouettes, um, and lots of lace juxtaposed with hardware like chains and studs. She also wears lots of crosses, um, which I feel like gives her almost sort of an e-girl kind of vibe, I guess. This first outfit I feel like is one of Misa's most well-known outfits. This is usually you see anybody cosplaying Misa, um, this is usually kind of the look that they go for, I feel like. It's usually a spaghetti strapped top or dress with a very poofy skirt and really pretty lace gloves and thigh highs to match. I actually got all of the accessories for this outfit on Amazon for super cheap. For the choker, I layered this chain choker on top of a lace choker just to spice it up a little bit and also to match the pointed lace on the top. For the skirt, I went with something really, really poofy to give it that sort of tutu kind of silhouette. And this skirt actually has garter straps attached to it. But of course, if your skirt doesn't have garter straps attached, you can find some really nice garter belts on Amazon as well. And please don't worry, I am wearing shorts in all of these clips. Even though this outfit would be perfect for cosplaying Misa, I also feel like this is just a really cute everyday outfit, but maybe that's just me. For the second look, I was really inspired by this outfit, which I feel like is a much more toned down and almost kind of grungy version of the first look. This look is just a corset top with a plaid skirt and fishnets and some gloves, though I swapped the striped gloves out for a fishnet bodysuit that I'm pretty sure I got on Fashion Nova. I accessorized with this weapon of a choker that I got from Amazon, and this barbed wire style necklace that I'm actually wearing as some sort of belt chain that is also from Amazon. And just as a little extra touch, I added these sparkly Hello Kitty socks that I got from a shop in Harajuku last year. I just thought that they matched the colors of the outfit so perfectly and were just so cute. Also shout out to my Halloween socks peeking through underneath them. Yes, I'm wearing two pairs of socks and tights because I hate the way fishnets feel on my toes. So that is now a fun thing you know about me. For the third outfit, I was really inspired by this look, which is never shown in the anime, but I wish it was. I just love the big red bow in the front and all of the chains and crosses. So I went for this sort of Seifuku style outfit and added some leather and metal accents to give it a more hardcore sort of vibe. I got the top from AliExpress and I just love all the little accents on it. Of course, it's got the big red satin bow and these matching stripes and it even has a cute little cherry blossom on the front which I just thought was so so cute. To make it look a little bit less like I'm late to algebra I added this harness that I got from you guessed it Amazon and while I adore this harness and the way it looks and fits I will just say that when I ordered it it took me about an hour to figure out how to put it on. The top did come with a black pleated skirt, but I chose this one because of the cute little heart buckles on it that match my choker and my garters, both of which I got from, can you guess? That's right, Amazon. Uh, I'm just doing a bunch of free advertising for Amazon, but while I'm at it, I might as well do a little bit more. Both of these pairs of thigh highs are also from Amazon.
The next look is another uniform style outfit, but this one is a bit more inspired by what Misa wears as a disguise to Aoyama. It's another Seifuku style top. I really hope I'm saying that word right. <laughs> but this one is perfect because it is a sweater. It's finally getting a little bit colder out. <laughs> I got this sweater from Punk Design Shop and I really love how warm and soft it is and I love how unique it is too. It has this really awesome kind of almost patent leather bow on the front and it has matching stripes that go all the way around the collar. I wanted to keep the jewelry pretty simple for this look so I just went with this little choker that I got on Amazon like I do all my chokers apparently. For the skirt, I went with a plain black pleated skirt from Forever 21 and this crazy intense garter belt. I added this little Karila Kuma that I got from eBay and another pair of Amazon thigh highs since you can never have too many. I also went a little bit crazy with the bows on this outfit, but I decided to add a couple more and add these adorable little socks that have little sparkly bows at the back that I also got in Harajuku last year. For the next look, I wanted to incorporate elements from these two outfits. I wanted something super puffy and pink while also being really comfy and soft, almost like a loungewear kind of a thing. This is also the outfit that I forgot all of my hair accessories to, but we're just going to pretend that I didn't do that, even though I've just said that I did it a whole bunch of times, but we're going to ignore that. For this look, I went with this baby pink top that has these super adorable little ruffles that perfectly match the ruffles on the skirt. While I wanted this outfit to be super pink and soft, I also wanted to incorporate the black from the text on the top and keep the sort of goth theme of the other outfits. So I added this super decorative choker and this extra long black belt. The choker, belt, and skirt all came from Amazon and I have to say that this skirt is one of my favorite items in this video. It's so fluffy and fun and perfect for this look. To finish it off, I added these little white thigh-high stockings that I got from Uvimi or Uvimi. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to say it. Now, I could not allow myself to make this video without trying to recreate this outfit. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a lot of good pictures of the outfit itself, but if you have read or seen Death Note, I'm sure that we all know the outfit and the scene that I'm talking about. This outfit was actually really out of my comfort zone because I've never really worn a full Lolita style outfit, but it ended up being one of my favorite looks in the entire video. I do wish that I had steamed or ironed it before I filmed, so I'm really sorry about the wrinkles. Um, yeah. <laughs> now this look, I got almost every single item in it from Amazon. The dress, the tights, necklace, my petticoat underneath the dress, all from Amazon. And to be honest, I was super skeptical about the quality of the dress when I ordered it but I was so pleasantly surprised when it arrived and I put it on. It's really, really nice quality and I just love all the crosses and the lace on it. It's so incredibly detailed. It's just gorgeous. On top of the tights, I added some little black socks with white ruffles to match the dress and the headpiece. For the last outfit, I wanted something super comfortable but still cute enough to wear out and I was really inspired by this look which strangely has always been one of my favorite looks of Misa's. Just really looks so comfortable while still matching her aesthetic so well. So for this look, I went with a very simple oversized sweatshirt dress. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> that is totally comfy enough to be PJs. And I layered it on top of a collared shirt and tie that I got from Forever 21, just to make it look like I tried a little bit harder. I also added these beaded cross earrings from Amazon and these little leg garters from Nasty Gal. And add yourself some biker shorts and some of Misa's iconic striped stockings. 
and you've got an outfit perfect for an off-duty model or for the god of a new world. And there you have it. There are all of the looks. I really hope that you enjoyed them. I loved each and every one of them, but please don't forget to let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite. I'm thinking about making an a part two to this video just because there were so many cute outfits I wanted to recreate but I didn't want this video to be too too long so if you want to see that and more don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Instagram all right so there you have it there are seven outfits inspired by Misa Amane I really hope that you enjoyed this video I had a lot of fun making it despite all of the complications <laughs> sorry about any like awkward angles or not being able to see the full outfit properly. I am working on that for the videos that I'm working on currently. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys again for watching. If you liked it, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see um, the videos that I have coming up, I have several different kinds of videos that I'm working on that I'm really excited for. Um, so don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for characters that I can create lookbooks for, any lookbooks for characters that you want to see, please leave that in the comments down below because I would absolutely love some inspiration and some new ideas. So thank you again so much for watching. Um, remember that black lives matter stay safe wear a mask and take care of yourself and remember that you are loved and thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all next time bye